I am uh, Professor Tim Marithi, Head of Peacebuilding Interventions Program at the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation in Cape Town. And we are convening a, an event with the Ukrainian Society of South Africa and the University of Cape Town. Here at the University of Cape Town, we brought academics from Ukraine and also we have brought together academics from South Africa and researchers and members of civil society to reflect on three themes, regional security, nuclear safety, and the forced displacement of children uh, relating to the situation in Ukraine following the Russian invasion of 24th of February. 20 we are together a specific policy brief on regional security, which is focusing on United Nations Security Council reform and also on the pathways for peacemaking in the case of the Ukraine conflict. On the issue of regional security and specifically the reform of the UN Security Council, we touched upon the challenges of the permanent five members of the UN Security Council also being perpetrator nations in the case of Russia. On the 24th of February 2022, Russia invaded uh, Ukraine and was also at the same time the president of the UN Security Council. And we argued and demonstrated that this was an indication that the system for collective security uh, that was established in the form of the United Nations and embodied in the UN Security Council has now began to collapse and we need to start rethinking ways and strategies to reformulate, reinvent and reimagine multilateralism, broadly speaking, and collective security in particular. In our discussions, we touched invoking Article 109 of the United Nations Charter, which speaks to the convening of a general conference to review the United Nations Charter as a means to start thinking about a new structure for global collective security, which will enable us to prevent future wars such as the Russian invasion of Ukraine from happening again. In addition, we also explored pathways to peacemaking in Ukraine and we felt that until there is a change of the current authority system in Moscow, it will be necessary for us to reflect on pathways to build and make peace in Ukraine. More specifically, there are a number of peace plans that have been proposed by the Ukrainians themselves, by the Chinese, by the Brazilians, and also, we should not forget the African peace mission to Ukraine, and Russia in June 2023, uh, led by President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa, in which African leaders also outlined a series of items that could enable the process of peacemaking to proceed. On that point, we used the South African model of taking one step forward and having to deal maybe with having to go two steps backwards as an approach to trying to lay the tracks for peacemaking in Ukraine, uh, which will enable the society to find a way out of the current crisis. As I mentioned, if and when the situation in the ground and also in Moscow changes. Thank you very much.